Hello everyone, my name is Legend Ronnie and this game is Rise of Kingdoms Quixi Rendezvous. Now the event has just started since yesterday, but I just want to give you some tips and advices because this event is going to be for seven days. Like any other event, there is always, you know, tips and tricks and advices that I can give you about it. And you want to work on this event because this is definitely, definitely worth it. It is action points costing. But you need to spend something, either time, either action points. These events are made to spend something. Right. Let's get to it. Lantern Shadow. This is just going to show you from where you can collect the Lantern Shadow. Which obviously is, is going to help you progress through the event. Then it is the Lotus War, which you're already noticing that I'm around 22. So obviously I'm going to talk about that as well. I'm going to explain you how you, you can get a higher rank in the Lotus War. And it's going to be the Magpie Bridge Rendezvous. Because these are the two main important parts on this particular event. I haven't done any levels on mine. Just because I'm probably going to do it in one of the live stream. Just, just going to add them all in one of the live stream. Uh, not randomly you know for people for the viewers for the show and so on so that's the only reason i haven't done it <clears throat> magpie bridge rendezvous you're noticing that it costs 7000 gems to unlock it now the way it works if you do not unlock it if you do not spend the 7000 gems all you unlock is just the left side which are noticing that it's separate it's with white and then you have it with yellow so if you're only adding the small flower lantern, it will only unlock you the left side up to level 25. But if you decide, let's say, you reach like level 22 and you go like, all right, well, I feel that it is worth it to spend 7,000 gems to unlock the right side. The moment you unlock it, it's going to give you the rewards from the level 1 up to 22 that you are right now. So that's what it does. If you pay the gems, it doesn't mean that it's going to unlock you all the 25 levels. And if you wait, it also doesn't mean that you're going to lose the previous levels. So these are some very important points that you want to know about it. Now, the next important point that you want to know about it is the following. If you manage to reach to level 25, so if you spend the time farming barbarians and you manage to reach to level 25, hear me out. On level 5, you get 500 gems. On level 10, you get another 500 gems. It's 1000 gems. You get another 500 gems at level 13. That's 1500 gems. 2500 gems. And this is already 10 sculptures. So level 15, if you want to ask me, you already earn the value but let's let's just not go that way 2500 gems so far 4000 gems at level 20 4000 gems 5000 gems at level 23 7000 gems at level 25 so if you reach level 25 and you unlock it you literally get your gems back this is the main important on top of that you get up to 35 legendary commander sculptures, speed ups and other goodies that you always need into the game, resources and so on. So is it worth it? It 100% worth it full time. It does worth it to spend in it and I highly recommend that you should spend in it. I do told people to save action points for Eve of the Crusade, but since they introduced this event, this is a too huge opportunity to miss. If you're not going to buy the bundles, because definitely they're going to introduce a bundle with this particular event, which obviously is going to give you a lot of small flower lanterns or either those, you know, gifts, which you're going to open, lantern shadow or how they are called. So if you're not going to buy the bundle, then you definitely want to spend some action points and you definitely want to unlock level 25. But you also don't need to rush it because you have seven days to fill it up. Right. Now that is out of the way, the next step is Lotus War. You're probably wondering if I look at, at the, the ranking, you see that people are at 10,000, 5,000, 6,000, uh, crazy numbers. And if you look at the rewards, it's only going to be the top 10 that actually get some legendary commander sculptures. 
which is eight in numbers i would say they should have done it for a little bit more with i don't know less commanders captures less legendary not just for the top 10 uh, the battle is is really huge but if you manage to get on the top 10 you get some sweet legendary sculptures which is definitely definitely rewarded it's not the battle for the gems or the speed ups it for, it's for the legendary sculptures <clears throat> if you're a pay to win player this is very very easy for you if you have time so again if you have time because all this it takes time me personally i'm using just one group so i'm using about 260,000 I use an army expansion so I started with about 260,000 archers I'm using YSG primer even though he's 60 and he doesn't need it and I use Richard secondary which also none of them get experience but I get a lot of AOE value using both of them so that is the main the main reason I use them both together there you go I get two of them so that is the main reason if you're a free to play player you probably cannot get that much value and at some point your marchers are gonna get lowered and lower and lower by using an army expansion at least a 25 army expansions that will help you the moment you start and bear in mind that this march will never need to get back into your city so the march that you, you want to focus on uh, getting points in this particular event you don't want it ever to get back into the city because it's no bueno it's gonna reset the timer is going to reset and you can see look over here i had a value of three barbarians which is all points in the event for me <clears throat> now if you're free to play as i mentioned it's gonna be a little bit delicate i'm not sure if i can find someone that is free to play that is doing this event i have seen a couple of them I can show you for example just this player um i'm not sure if this player it's usually low hard you definitely need a maxed out low hard for this particular event saints fan how do i see any low hard there you go you see the low hard so that particular group of his he's always the primary that is going to hit the barbarian now with his other three marchers once the low hard has engaged he's just going to assist He's spending a lot of action points that is true but that is the only way you can do it if you hit with the other marchers before the low heart the other marchers will get the points so you want the points to go to your low heart team now i would say that low heart sun too can work so you can get some aoe value as well but you also need to pay attention make sure that the hell doesn't drop too fast while killing the barbarians and you, that's why you always need the healer so i'm I'm pretty sure that this was a mistake for him or he's not participating in the event he's just probably farming but the point is you just want one group to always hit the target and then with the other group you just assist so that way your points are keep going up and up and up on your same march that's why that's how you, you can uh, you can get one of the high rankings and make sure you don't send them back to your city now for protection because you're probably thinking okay well in my server is war what's gonna happen when i'm gonna go to sleep just park them in a flag which is very very far away park them in your center fortress around fortress something that nobody will be able to reach on the next i don't know seven eight ten hours until you're gonna log on that's pretty much all i have to say about uh, this again it's all about grinding and making sure that one march is never gonna die or is never gonna reach the city you have it all here i'm a, i'm at 3000 and something i'm not sure if i'll be able to get in the top 10 that's that's actually what i want to do i'll see how far i'll be able to get to today but the others are just pushing crazy if i don't get it i don't get it uh there's a lot of stuff and things i need to do on top of this at least i tried at least i tried right one more thing in this uh, in this particular event we have the sunset canyon we just started and obviously i'm gonna do a separate video about this but maybe just just a quick quick tips about the defense whenever you want to set up your defense you might just want to have a tanking group 
in in front of you just one i would say that just one tanking group is pretty enough having in the front i personally don't have such a thing so for me probably my tanking group is gonna be saladin and uh, belisarius with jessica Vary, i suppose and on the left corner on the top corner you wanna put something with healing this is the two things I have noticed so far from um, from dwelling with my alt account. So someone like let's say YSG and Frederick on the top left corner will probably help obviously with just archers. <clears throat> yeah. I'm I'm definitely going to do I'm definitely going to do a live stream about the Sunset Canyon because there's a lot of challenges we can do and it looks um, really really fun so far it's like an arena type of of situation and there's a lot of things to do right i hope you guys totally understand about the lotus war and how does it work and how you, you can get higher rankings so not very very far away to get in the top 10 it's just like 1200 you know i can definitely get in the top 10 and probably maintain myself in the top 10 yeah this is gonna be rough it's gonna be rough the first two players that means they have killed about a thousand barbarians already at least a thousand barbarians which is a lot it's a lot of action points and time that's why it's free to play event right i hope you guys find this helpful about this particular event and how it, it works if you have any questions drop them in the comments below and i'll always going to answer them peace out yo and take care